need a storage system. It is a desperate situation at this point. Every project, I end up with shulkers and shulkers of materials that so far I have been putting away by hand in my little tiny storage system at my starter base. And we've got a little tiny bit of a chest monster growing here. It's worse than it looks. So we desperately, desperately need to get this cave set up and functional. But first, the chat indicates that a very important update may have just hit the server. <gasps> yes! <laughs> we can make noises with the heads on note blocks. Oh, we need oh, we need to do something with this. Let's try the wither head. Let's try Let's see what else. Ooh, I wonder if there's any difference in the different wither heads you get. Let's let's take a listen. So nothing in you don't get anything from that. Okay. Ooh, ooh that's loud. Oh jeez. What about? Okay. Oh, jeez. Now, what could we use for a prank? Come on, do we get any other sounds from these? That's it, okay. Well, you know what I have? I have a bunch of pillager, well, illager heads. Now, let's take a look and see what's been developing over here in this corner of the server. Oh, this looks so cool. Oh, yeah. So this is an elven harbor, basically. We're gonna just burrow back a teeny tiny bit. All right. Let's place this torch. <laughs> all right, that's all the pranking for the moment because we need we need this storage system. Now I really love the cave vibes of this area, but we need plenty of space for lots of redstone. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of clear cut a lot of this area and then add in some of these like pillars back in. Now, while I dig out this cave and generally flatten it and make things look good, um, we have, actually, let's go take a little peek. We have underneath our base, a little bit of a deep dark and a little bit of an ancient city. It's a gigantic ancient city. It's huge. And well, Spooky wanted to kind of loot and clear an ancient city. And I was like, hey, I've got an ancient city under my base and I have been meaning to clear it out. So Spooky and I cleared out the entire ancient city of all the shriekers and sensors. Most of the deep dark is cleared out except for that one little section that I just showed you guys, ironically. But I'm excited to get to the point of integrating that into our base. And while I work on this, why don't you go watch what happened then? You want any golden apples? Ah, uh, it's all right. If I die, I die. <laughs> Fair enough. And honestly, probably will. <laughs> yeah, last time I was down there, I died and it was... <laughs> it was a whole thing. I lost all of my netherite gear. I was like, oh, yep, no. not doing that this time. Could possibly go wrong. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, here we are. Oh, I should have put Swift Snake on these pants. It's fine. Oh my goodness, this is a collection of many things. Oof, I don't like this. What's going on Who in is? here? We are clearing an ancient city. Oh. Yeah. The one under your base? Yep. That's the one. The one that you died in? Yep, that's or the one. <laughs> reasons that totally did not involve me. <laughs> yup. What did you do? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, so. crap. I just triggered a shrieker. Strike one. <laughs> I hate Wait, this. Man. I hate it. I hate it. Oh. I hate it. Where was it? I didn't see it. I just triggered one. Amy! Oh, no. Is that strike oh, two or three God for you? Two. Two. <laughs> well, at least I know there's one here. I swear, if you if you spawn a warden, I am just leaving. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you should have done that last time. <laughs> I mean, yes. This is true. Oh, there's one in the water here. Oh, that's... Oh, that's terrible, because you can't hear it. It was sitting... Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool, though. There was one in the water here sitting on top of a redstone lamp. That feels kind of like an intentional, like, design. That's really cool. I love it. I mean, that's what ancient cities are, right? Uh, six god apples and a redstone tutorial. Huh? Oh my god. There are s so many. Um, I hear a warden. Books of this is clear. Oh no. Do you? Are you on the west side? Uh, there's a warden at the west side, yeah. Okay. I'm on the oh, east no, side. Oh, no, but just buried. It's oh, just gone under. Oh, excellent. Good. Very considerate of him. Amy, are you walking around? No. That was Amy! a walking. Amy! You just triggered like three walking. sensors. I wasn't walking. Well. I was flying. I was definitely. Amy. Oh my god. <laughs> but these are all safe. How do I know that? Because I kind of triggered all of them. Yep. <laughs> Something tells me this chest has probably not been raided. Probably not. I swear to god that this one has the trim in it. Amy! Nope! <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye! I'm completely blind. I think my first one might have gone off. Oh no. No, I think my first one has got the cooldown. Yeah, he didn't spawn. Okay. Bless. I'm um, three still, probably. Alright, well, I'm coming back then. I did not get far enough away. Oh! Here's a armor trim. It's the ward one. Fortunately. What? 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 Where? It's in a chest no. that's surround. Hi, hello. It's all surrounded by wool. Oh my god. What? What is the dead book? It is. It's this situation. <laughs> so, like, you've got the pile of. Oh my gosh. There's the pile of lime uh, wool inside. Like, at the top of that structure. And that is where I thought if I just surrounded myself in wool and crouched and kept very quiet, I would be safe. <laughs> I was not safe. <laughs> this is cool. Just running around a city. Yeah. I like oh. this. Oh... Oh, that's so cool. Okay, this it's this sneaky. corner is really neat. I it, I'm gonna have to do something with this too. Oh, that's so cool. It is sneaky geode there. Yeah. It's hanging over the lava. Yeah. Oh, that's so yeah, you cool. Yeah, can see it from here. Oh. Also, oh, you're look welcome. At these. Huh? Look at these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! 
<laughs> I didn't think you would actually put it on. Hmm. <laughs> so the this chest monster is slowly growing. I mean, this is basically all materials from digging out upstairs. Oh, so it's not the chest monster. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, right, I can't put on the helmet. <laughs> I, I do feel I need a bit bad, <laughs> but also, no. Would you like to commit murder? Yes. Let me triple check that my spawn is set here. It was not set here because it was set down in the... Yeah, I would have ended up at spawn. All right. That is to be murdered. Yes. Yeah, maybe take the totem off as well. Oh yeah. I forget I can't I have a resource pack so I can't see it. Thank you, thank you. Well that's good to have taken care of. Now I really should go sort these things out, but I really want to finally make this music disc. Is it eight? It's nine. Okay. Let's take a listen. Well, it's interesting. I'll give it that. All right. Well, we got a bunch of this cave dug out, and uh, I did set up a temporary beacon outside um, because it was taking way too long. I have gotten far too accustomed to having haste to. But this is all of the spots that we have labeled. Excuse my dog sneezing in the background. But that's enough talking about what I'm going to do. I'm going to go do it now. So I've decided to use the Mooney MIS version 5. Um, I was kind of torn between that and the Potato Craft um, MIS bulk, which includes uh, shulker loaders and things like that. But this is my first time making a multi-item storage system of any sort or really anything other than your like standard hopper speed item sorter kind of sorting system. I've never done a large storage system. So we're gonna try to, you know, not overwhelm me right off the bat and keep it just a little bit more simple with some fairly easy to build systems. Well, usually when you set out to build a storage system, the point is to get organized and, uh, this area is less than organized at this point. Um, but to be fair, a lot of it's just the stuff that I've been using to build the system. We've got some experimental, like different ways of labeling things and like experimental um, bits, fancy decor bits. But I think that's, I, I'm not gonna stick with this, I think. Because kind of what we want to be doing is we want this to be a little bit, like, cavey. And this is just not doing it for me. And I really, really enjoy seeing the redstone, actually. Like, this looks so satisfying, doesn't it? Um, and I just think, I think it's neat to be able to, like, see the redstone up above. So, we're not going to do this direct decor, I think. We'll probably have some spots where, like, there's drippiness coming down from the roof kind of in front of the system a little bit and try to integrate it organically back into the cave and you know what we can do with all of this stuff we can pop up here and just pop it in the system boop 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 anyways we obviously have some beacons in and i set up these three um <laughs> We got the snow coming in. Fantastic. If we go up through the beacon beam, 
it comes up into the back of the great hall here which is pretty pretty dang cool i think bulk storage i'm gonna hang off on for another episode but an episode coming soon because ugh, i need it uh, th these chests behind me are all filled with stuff for bulk storage. The, ch the shulkers I'm standing on are filled with stuff for bulk storage. I, I, I need this desperately. So one of the reasons that I was a little hesitant about the floor, um, marking things on the floor, is because we're going to have a little, little fish tank, a big fish tank. Basically, in our floor, there's going to be glass over the top and fish underneath and well if you recall the uh, fish farm we built a few episodes ago didn't actually work so we need we need to fix that problem up well i know what i need to know and i'm gonna get building this thing then i'll see you on the other side all right well we have successfully made a tropical fish farm um it's mostly producing Puffer fish. I've already made a big mess of the water. There's lots going on with it. But I realized what the issue is with the other farm that we made in the lush cave. It's simply that tropical fish, or any fish at all, can no longer um, spawn in bubble streams. But... We don't need to make them spawn in bubble streams. So what I basically did was I made a tank to the side and then they can just swim into the bubble stream itself and then be rocketed up. So we can add this modification. Like this is great if you want to get a bunch of puffer fish, uh, but I don't want a bunch of puffer fish. And I think we can modify the one at the lush farm to to have a similar kind of situation and then they just go into the water stream and and rock it up from there it's definitely going to be slower than if they were spawning directly in the bubble columns but we can certainly work with that anyways i'm gonna clean up this area we've got a bunch of fish we can at least put that floor in and i'll probably get around to well, I'll get around to modifying the other farm at some point. Yeah, I'm really bad at this procrastination thing. I really need to do a chore day. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try to consolidate and clean up some of these shulker boxes and add in a little fish pathway. Welcome to the storage system. We're still not fully decorated in the cave here, but things are definitely pulling together. Also, I keep finding new things to add slots for. Let's see, where's our hostile mob drops? Right here. We can totally add wither skelly skulls. Anyways, we've got our waterway in the floor, which I just absolutely love. We built it with prismarine and ice as well as like sand and gravel and just you know your normal stone there are no fish in there yet though and we need to solve that also i moved i moved the uh unstackable storage from over here to in here and i think i have some good ideas for what we're gonna do with this end of the the cave and you can definitely see the theming that we're working with of like an icy cave that is a little bit overgrown don't ask me to logic how things are growing in a frozen cave i'm not gonna explain it to you because i can't explain it to myself but i like it so we're keeping it now our fishes i don't remember i need to label these somehow i don't remember what spot they're in here they are all right so these five fish are all fish that i have like caught by hand previously 
and thought were really cool and so hung on to them instead of, you know, feeding them to axolotls. Let's see, this one is clayfish in lime and purple. Ooh, that is really pretty. That's really pretty. No wonder I kept it. And he's just on his way. All right, this is the glitter in blue and green. Oh, that's also very pretty. No wonder I kept that one. If you can't tell, I really like, I really like green fish. All right, well, I think I might add more to the floor later, but this is, this is a good start. Very cute. And I think we ended up with, like, well, there was a school down at this end, too. Are they all part of this one big collective now? I think that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, so the basic shape and colors of the staircase are all in. All the... All the blocks and things. So now what we need to do is we need to get the correct blocks in here. And I think what I'm going to use is ice with, I don't know, maybe, ooh, maybe some skulk underneath even. Oh, that's pretty. You just barely see it underneath. I like that. That's cool. Um... We need to make sure that this won't melt, but that things stay lit up up here. We'll add in light for the staircase next. You know, I've gained a lot of Minecraft opinions over the last, like, whatever it's been, year and a half of playing. One of those is, I think, I think Skulk should give off, like, a tiny bit of light. Not a ton. Not too much, just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Like, literally light level one or two. I don't know. I think that would be really cool. It looks like it should give off light. All right, is that going to cause problems in our flyway? Yes, it is. But I think we can just pop it up one. Nice. Okay. I think that leaves us a clear enough pathway to fly through without being super disruptive. Um, the other thing that we're going to add next is we're going to add um, just these uh, wall indent situations. You know, I don't think I've ever used a lectern railing before, but it's kind of cool. I'm also very clearly in the wrong skin. I'll be right back. All right, so we've got this cute little balcony that we can use to look over our bulk storage system. I'm so excited to put that in. And I think our staircase is looking pretty schnazzy. But we have one more thing that I want to do really, really fast. So when I went through this nether fortress here and slabbed it up along with, you know, everything else, the one thing that I did not do is I did not loot any of the chests. All right, let's be fast. Diamond horse armor and a diamond. <gasps> There's the rib armor in the wild. That's really what I was going for. All right, let's get ourselves out of here. I hate the nether. I really love what we've done with the place. It is absolutely fantastic and a great start on both a really cool, like technical looking and pretty storage room. I, I really like this space. We've got so much to keep working on here. I am I am particularly excited to get to the spot right behind me there. That's, that's one I'm really excited about right now. So, stick around. Don't forget to join the Chaos Coven by subscribing and help me out by liking the video, all the YouTube things you know. I'll see you all for the next one. Bye!